Welcome back, folks. Deutschland Dan here, doing another unboxing video. Boxing week. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> crazy backstory. I'll try to keep a short, cut to the chase. Uh, I tried to order this stuff during Boxing Week. Uh, I think the day or day or two after, because we had problems with the fridge. If you refer back to some of my earlier videos with the fridge freezer with the amps, you know, ampersand. No, well, ampersands. Yeah, ampersand. Try to remember uh, my semantic the phonography thingy. I don't even know if that's the right term. It's not phonology. It's the skull thing. Monsieur Candy. Uh, I'm not gonna cut this out. It's the hell of it. Make it a blooper reel. Uh, my mind's all scattered at the moment now. It's like Grand Central Station. I got 20 trains to go through there, and I'm hopping platforms and just try not to derail. So anyways, yeah, unboxing, so I uh, had problems with the fridge, so I spent the uh, first couple of days post-Christmas uh, dealing with uh, replacing the fridge, because uh, that died uh, due to uh, three, uh, three, you know, a little bit for a couple seconds, be there. Three power edges were uh, Friday, uh, Christmas Eve Eve, uh, out for about two and a half, three hours each uh, morning and later late afternoon, early evening, and then again, Around uh, quarter to four, because my parents were upstairs watching uh, Saturday was uh, just for laughs, comedy thing, and yeah, cut out, and then uh, I was able to work the EcoFlow Delta Pro generator, or Max something, I forget the exact term for it, but it was enough juice, basically, to get through Die Hard on Christmas Eve, uh, halfway through, about an hour and ten minutes in. It was roughly 2.20 with the credits, so uh, yeah, and it was running fine, so... Only used about 7% of the juice. And... Oh, wait, no, that was Christmas Eve Eve, the Friday, first night. And then the second night, I used it again uh, to watch uh, Die Hard 2. Die Hard at the airport. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's get unboxing. So, my dad didn't wake me up this morning. I slept in last night because I was out, uh, supposed to be on a date, but she never showed, uh, over at the Brassy Pub. And uh, so my guy, local watering hole, my cheers, nose, you know. Uh, that's where everybody knows my name. And they know my drinks. So even if I haven't been there since the summer. So back in July or August, I think after my fishing trip, I tried to go in there and get chicken wings. But it was like SRO sitting room only. So couldn't even get a patio seat. But there were other times I came by. My bike was really, Some people recognize me from the other day. This couple is going up to Scotland. Uh, Morgan and uh, Malcolm. Name. So I was telling them about my Scottish trip and I was uh, <laughs> going way off my attention. Okay, stick to the script. Well, I don't have a script, that's the thing. It's all, we'll do it live! Bill O'Reilly type stuff, right? Uh, it's all improv. Improv. Alright, so my dad already opened that up because I slept in and yeah, she didn't show, but uh, ended up with uh, another chick anyway, so it's all good. And I got a date for Sunday, so and that's all better to meet women, I guess, or partners, whatever. Uh, in person rather than uh, messing around with uh, dating apps, which it's not. I may still, I don't know, whatever. Let's focus here, Dan. Focus, 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 focus. All right, so I haven't opened this yet. I think this was a gift. But the thing is, they gave me uh, Amazon or UPS. I can't remember who was driving. Uh, I didn't have the sign for it because they just left it all at the front door. But they gave me a window of uh, 4.15 to uh, 7.15. And my date was supposed to be at 8, and I got there around quarter to 8, so just made it with time to uh, do an Italian shower in the uh, sink. They call it Italian shower, but it's like, you know, just spruce up a little bit and, you know, cologne the hell out of my shirt and everything. So, didn't even bother, like, uh, getting all gussied up, except, you know, I had to comb the beard and hair and everything, brush my teeth. So, look all nice and smiley and uh, smelling. Fresh is a dandy, or daisy, 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 Danny, Dapper Dan, there you go, alright, <clears throat> let's get this done, let's slip that open a bit, so I think this was the free gift, yeah, so they dropped that stuff off around 6.30 or something, and then, yeah, I was just having to uh, tap in and out with my mom, because my dad went to bed early, he was having stomach problems or something, I don't know. Uh, this was the gift I got from Cold Steel and Beyond. But, well, I think that's the uh, bracelet thing as part of my Viking gear stuff that I had to reorder because Amazon wasn't taking uh, 
credit card information together in a book. So a gift for me. Enjoy your gift. Oh, I guess the N <laughs> just says, enjoy your gift. Right there. Got clipped off. Whatever. See so yeah, how that's the Viking bracelet. So show more than tell, Dan. Show more than tell. Uh, that's taped up too. So where's the tape up? Okay. Ooh, fancy. Bling, bling. Oh, dude, is that messing with my lighting now? Ah, I'm gonna bring in the floodlight again like I did with karaoke stream. It's a nice little baggie that it comes with. Uh, I don't think I want to use the knife on that to open it up. So, oh, okay, it's just drawstring. The coin pinch. Damn, that's small. I mean, depends on where I put it, right? But I don't think it's. Is that gonna be big enough for my wrist? I don't know. I had to measure my and figure out my ring size and verify on two different sites to check the measurements out. How am I gonna get that on my hand? It's got the two wolves there, I guess it, oh, oh, okay, it separates, never mind, okay, I got too much shit on that arm, so I'm gonna go with that one instead, ugh, I'm gonna fucking end up handcuffing myself or something, okay, there we go, so, that's with the watch there, hopefully that's not gonna mess with the lighting again, I need, uh, one of those, uh, color scheme thingies that, uh, you put up, like, uh, back in the day when there were 24 hour news cycles and on cnn and shit like that where they would have like uh they play the national anthem and then die so end of day broadcasting type thing and they'd show the color bars and i think that's supposed to reset the camera when it's fucking up i forget what that's called but it's like you know and then they have that tone thing it was like whatever look it up it's uh from back in the days with uh rabbit ears and pre-satellite cable stuff before the 24 hour, uh, always something on, you know, like pre fight club where he's a uh, total insomniac and just, uh, Jack's inability to sleep. Always watching infomercials for jam. Wow. But wait, there's more. Yeah, there is more. Okay. Dan, shut up. You're rambling. Time to ramble on. Got to get the lid out. So he already opened a few of these things, so I was like, I haven't checked to see what's in it. He's just looking for his hanky, so. There we go. Don't want to dox myself there. Recycle, just like a box. Yeah, I'll probably use it for something. May I recycle this thing earlier today, trying to prop up my webcam. That was a 5-in-1 survival aid thingy. It's like a whistle. With uh, This didn't come with the Amazon stuff. This is something I got, got from the dollar store uh, back in the summer. Trail signal whistle, compass, waterproof, matchbox, which I'm actually using for batteries. So you does for the headlamp. Uh, signal mirror and fire starter flint. So I've tested that already. I just don't think I got it on video. So this is the Norse Tradesman Viking Handcrafts. So what's in the box? I don't know because I can't remember exactly what I ordered. But it's all stuff that's going towards my music video. I'm going to be doing of uh, Valhalla Calling Me by P Parrish. No, Miraculous, Miraculous Sound, Miracle, something, Miracle Sound, right. and uh, featuring Pink Bear. Ah, belts, no, knifey, I was like, that's not a belt, but it goes on your belt, there's a little belt loop there, that's my Viking blade, oh, let's take that out of, wait, should be able to just do this, right, I mean, if it's sharp enough, aha, Stab you in my eye. It's all funny games until someone puts their eye out. Put your eye out with that thing. So there we go. It's all handcrafted. Should be. Uh, I need to sharpen up a little. It's uh, kind of ragged. Oh, I could do the uh, doink. Hair test thingy. I'm sure I've got some loose hairs around here somewhere on me. Could shave with it. one of my no don't put your eye out, rebel eyebrows <laughs> yeah but it's a uh, little, little oh it did take the hair off huh? 
probably needs to be clean and polished and that sort of thing, or maybe it's meant to look that way. Kind of notched, or not notched, but you know, notch would be on the blade. But yeah, you can see a little bit of the fine hairs there, maybe. I don't know. Well, I can see it. A little fuzz there and there. But yeah, it's not that sharp. It's uh, you need to get out the whetstone and uh, or the uh, leather strap. Strop? Strap. Strop. Yeah, leather straps like corporal punishment, military or something. And yeah, it's got like, um, I think that's, yeah, wolf's head. So I'll use that later for my uh, karaoke where I'm uh, going to be taking on the persona of a werewolf. Because it's the wolf moon tonight, January 6th. And uh, yeah, I'm going to record a video of that later tonight as well when the uh, full moon's out. Uh, typo negative, uh, Wolf Moon, uh, Xeno, Xenophobic, no, Xenophobic, um, Lycanthropia, I think, so, like I did the one for Christmas morning, um, Red Water was like the alternate title or subtitle or something, so, and yeah, it's got a cool little Brandon there, branding. Logo, Norse Tradesman. So, I like it. Yeah, I wasn't even sure what was in the order because I was just tracking the shipment status and not really paying attention to uh, what, my list here. Uh, what was in the order. I just knew it was like six or seven items. So, so my dad's already got his 12 hankies. Doesn't there. This, I'm not sure of. So I'm kind of figuring this out on the go. Just like keep it going. It's from Go Love Joy. Made in China. No idea. Let's find out together, shall we? Is that zip lock seals or something? How do I? How am I supposed to open this? Light, warm, sport cap. Oh, it's my balaclava. My uh, ski mask. Let's do this here. We'll just cut the top there. Slip that. And then, uh, cut away from yourself, Dan. Slip that off. I should be able to open it from here. Okay. Not going to put that on at the moment because, uh, yeah. Uh, I could probably reuse that bag or something. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's the mask there. It just looks like a big black blotch for the moment. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, hold on a second. One size fits all, so, but I got a fucking big noggin. See if we can get the construction man on the fucking foot. Probably wash this and put it in. That's for nutrition purposes. Yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to be horrible, but it's awfully tight. So now I can go rob a bank. Give me all your money. Just a cap gun. Unlike the real guns that I got back there that I lost tragically in a boating accident. Damn boating accidents, man. Always taking all the guns. Don't come at me, Trudeau. Don't come at me, bro. Okay, let me get this off because this is like wearing that other fucking mask. <laughs> Ah. 
messing up my hair. Got all nice and pretty before. Doesn't smell funky, it just kind of smells odd. I can't really identify the scent, but it's a bit greasy or oily or something. So, but definitely need to. Well, laundry day tomorrow, so Saturday's right. Uh, all right, what's this here? Another gift for me? Oh, you shouldn't have Amazon. Uh, Hell is this? Oh yeah, this is the um, car windshield snow cover, all weather conditions. Uh, yeah, from Ubante. So let's open that up. I don't think that's resealable. Opens that up and see. Open Z, up and see. Okay, so it's got its own little coating there. So the cool thing about this is that it's uh, not designed for all vehicles, but for like sedans and coupes and stuff like that. Standard car thing. So I'm not going to unfold the whole thing. That's a pain in the ass. But it's got like the solar blanket stuff. And then it's also got the uh, covers for the... I guess I am unfolding the whole thing. Oh, there they are. Slips for the um, side view mirrors. So... That way, don't have to uh, scrape every morning when we get snow, because we will be getting snow again. I saw a few flakes falling uh, around 1.30. I was up having a smoke. So, otherwise, it's not folding up properly again. What did I do wrong? What did you do? Okay. that in. Maybe I better put it back in that baggie that came in. Oh, no. Keep it all together. Yeah, that's just next up. Okay, so that's one box done. Uh, I'll just put it over there for now. Out of the way. Uh, let me grab the other one. It's in this box. 4.9 pounds. Let's find out. Let's open up. I'm just glad I didn't order anything in like September, October, because then I would have had to get those stupid uh, Prime series branding for uh, Rings of Power, the diversity woke version of Lord of the Rings. Well, just like a third age type stuff from, uh, well, check out Nerd Roddick and Geeks and Gamers and stuff like that. They talk about all this shit. As from Heels vs. Babe Space. I'm cutting towards myself. I shouldn't do that. They talk about this stuff rather uh, extensively. Even to uh, Shad from Shad Versity. The Australian Mormon. At least they had more men, not Mormon. Friday Night Tights. Welcome up. Shout out to uh, very entertaining stuff here. I keep getting these gift thingies, but is everything a gift? Or are these things I have to redeem? Because I've not seen the... Uh, Not seen anything here. It says gift from. Oh, oh, right, right, right. So this is for. I think I had to label something as a gift because otherwise it would have taken like end of the month type thing to get delivered. So this is obviously has to be some of the Viking gear that I ordered. Hopefully, we'll see. Not shaped like a shield, so it's not the Ravenclaw shield from a uh, Ravenclaw. From uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 
might be the breastplate. Express Worldwide. Hmm. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Came from DHL, so I'm German. Shipping company, like Hermes. Not, or International. I didn't have to sign for anything, so that's kind of weird. The hell kind of writing is that? Looks like hieroglyphs or something. See an IS. A P. Backwards J H. Is this Russian or something? <laughs> Turkish? I don't know. Away from yourself, Dan. Cut away from yourself. Nick yourself. This is absolutely sharp. I got that as a buck knife from uh, Canadian Tire uh, two summers ago. It's sort of like a. It was like half off or something like that. So it was like a. Uh, what do they call that when you buy gum when you're waiting in line at the grocery store? Impulse purchase. Yeah, away. Keep reminding myself. Cut myself or stab myself or something. Ah. Is this the helmet? Because this was the last one, I think. Kind of shaped like one. I do believe so. Okay. Wow. This one was going to arrive at the end of January, but I actually got it. Well, I already said that. So, it's all bubble wrapped. This I'll have to put on. How metal is that? <laughs> this is Sparta! Nah. No, I got a better one. Take two. This is Scandinavia! Drinking meat out of uh, honeyed uh, liquor, honeyed wine. Yeah, this is a bit greasy too, so I think this is probably going to need some polish. But yeah. Oh, upside down. There's the uh, chin straps there. Uh, working around the beard. So, it's pretty hefty too. Yeah, what do they say? 4.9? About 5 pounds. It's got the ridge on the top there. Some insignia here. Oh shit. I'm fucking with the volume. Uh so I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, that's the prow of a ship. Um Is that a horse? It's supposed to be a dragon or something? I got the matching one on that side too. I got like some wavy things there, some other emblems, no runes. Got a rune rings coming soon, that's why I had to measure my uh, ring size. I get the acid reflux again, damn. That's pretty cool. Not sure what this is here. Back so. All right, well, I'll put that back in the box of Keeman. I'm going to move that back over to here. It's out of the way. So, yeah, with that, this, this, 
think that's well, I'm still getting a shield. I'll have to track the orders. It's something arriving Monday, but I didn't look into the details of what's arriving Monday. But, uh, uh fingers are greasy. I have to use the. Yeah, hold on a second. Cap's broken this thing uh hand sanitizer crap so i don't even know if this is one that got recoiled uh, but kills up to 99.99 percent of most germs and i got it for about the same price a buck one dollar so yeah i'll just take the ring off first clean my hands in case i end up touching my face because what was it from uh contingent contain contagion contagion are you going to come out? Oh, there we go. And I got a spare that I take with me in my uh, bug out bag, uh, camping backpack thingy, rucksack, whatever. Uh, I never really used this shit during the whole scam pandemic. Uh, because it's like, well, I'm usually wearing gloves and, you know, I wash my hands with regular Irish Spring soap or dish soap, pomolip type thing. Pretty regularly, especially if I'm cooking or eating that's the thing well just before and after type thing uh because i as a smoker i don't like um that scent you get uh and i'm ambidextrous so it's like with smoking anyways and drinking uh i'm usually getting that that smell of nicotine tobacco and shit on my um even though i'm just holding out the filter uh like you'll notice sometimes my gloves um do i have a pair of gloves right here no they, uh, they get, like, singed because I'm usually smoking like that, right? But sometimes I'll smoke like this or cover it. Well, let me demonstrate. Hold on a second. I got my cigarettes here, but I don't have the gloves. And towel off. So, yeah, I'm usually pretty uh, religious. But even Josie commented on my ex-fiance back in Germany that uh, I do wash my hands a lot. And many women that uh, shake hands with or, you know, touch my hands with dancing or whatever. Uh, often a drink type thing uh, comments on how soft my hands are and it's not from uh, using a lotion it rubs lotion on itself and gets the hose in your skin you know. it's uh, just from so good old fashioned Irish Spring sometimes palm olive when I'm doing dishes so I know this is going off on a bit of tangent but I gotta go for a smoke soon because well, so I'm smoking I usually smoke like that so, you know, sometimes I smoke like this. I think that's more the European way. Uh, yeah. And then when it's raining or snowing or something like that, there's uh, something I can cover my hand like that and I smoke and then that way it's, you know, enclosed. Cancer sticks. Dennis Leary says, well, put a skull and crossbones on the pack and uh, call them tumor sticks or cancer sticks. And people, yeah, yeah, I think it was like, uh, hope, uh, no, call them cancer sticks, put a skull and crossbones on the package, no cure for cancer. Uh, and uh, people still be lined up around the block to get them. I was like, hoping, man, I hope I get a tumor just from lighting up. And only the really good smokers know that. Uh, you smoke down to the filter because that's where the heroin is. <laughs> and yeah, I can almost tell time pretty much from uh, how long it takes for me to smoke. So it's like if I'm smoking furiously or something like that, like quickly, I'm in a rush. Probably get it done about three and a half, four minutes, but I'm on average five. So I'll look at, say I'm halfway through my smoke. It's like, okay, I got another two and a half, maybe three minutes until I'm done. So eh. not exactly a sundial, but eh, probably closer to like an egg timer. The uh, sands running through a little bit. So, safety first, let's put this away. Uh, why is that not... Oh, there we go. I'll pop that out. Took me a while to figure that out before, but... It comes out. I like one that just flicks out. But, well, that kind of flicks, but you got to get it going a little bit. And then... Yeah. That's why for, like, the full tang ones that are... Uh, like, this is a... Uh, 
This one's like a complete unit, right? Like that's just one piece of metal from tip to stern. No. Tip to hilt. Anyways, I'm rambling. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing for today. I shall have some more. Well, I got Monday and then I think a couple others later in the week. So I'll wait till there's another uh, couple packages filed up and then uh, I'll uh, have another unboxing. So try to find a clever title for that, like Boxing Week Unboxing. So this is Deutschland Dan signing off. Peace out.